then Gurdeep Sappal, will will this entire issue be now put to rest? Because if I remember correctly, the court had clearly asked why the targets have not taken criminal action. If you knew your phone was hacked, why did you not file a criminal complaint? Maria, number one, what was the background of this inquiry? The Supreme Court had said that the fundamental rights of citizens have been threatened and there is a danger, there is a possibility of foreign countries' involvement. So a committee was set up. But government of India chose not to cooperate with this committee. Now imagine a scenario where a citizen of India or a corporate entity or say even a state government had refused to cooperate with the Supreme Court monitored inquiry. Then what would have been the stand of government of India today? Can we imagine a situation that government of India, which is one arm of, of, our, uh, secular, uh, of our republic, sovereign republic, is not cooperating with the another arm of the republic, which is the Supreme Court of India. And why Stop did lying. government stonewall it? Why did government stonewall it? Because they know they do not want this the, the truth to come out. Now, yes, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Please tell me, please tell me, please tell me, if anybody comes to know that there is a weapon, spy, a weapon grade spyware in their telephone, in their handset, Will they retain it? Will they not reformat it? Will they not? Will they or or will they allow that spying to go oh, on even after it is known to them? Are we? What are we talking? If 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 as what a user, if if, if one this, day Maria. Maria Maria, if one day you come to know that there is a there is a spyware in your telephone, what will you do? You'll retain it so that spyware okay. keeps on working now, and now spying on it. Now my question to you, you Gurdeep Sappal, I did ask that question about government not cooperating, as the Supreme Court has no. said. So, my issue it's is conclusively, today. there's nothing conclusive here as far as yes. that Pegasus was yeah, used. My, my question I, I, then to you is that hmm. there was two sessions of parliament that were completely washed out because of this Maria, issue. If this it was in the government. realm of, you know, if it was in the realm of speculation, then shouldn't it have been more about investigate kar lije, rather than making it about government targeting opposition, government targeting journalists, government targeting uh, various institutions? Are we being so naive? Hasn't the government said in Supreme Court that because of national security concerns, it cannot share the information? May I Is, hasn't government said that Supreme Court also cannot look into national security issues and government is the sole custodian of national security issues? Haven't Maria. we seen that th that there has been this international conspiracy in which the entire management of NSO company had to go? The okay. CEO Sanjeev had to Vanna? resign. Sanjeev Vanna, NSO, come no, in on this. Please, please, let me, let yes. me complete, Mara. Huh. Let me complete. No, you, you, you are saying that time that and again, this was, this, this is not a mere speculation. Let me tell you. Now, the, it, it's now a that the Supreme Court has said, will you believe them? Only investigation. Now will the issue no, be put to Supreme rest? Supreme Court has not said. Maria, may no, no, I please Supreme Court has not said. It has, Supreme Court has not said that there is no Pegasus. Supreme Court said government did not cooperate. No, no, but the Supreme Court has also said that out of 29 mobile phones examined, there was some malware. It wasn't. Uh, yes, let me answer to it this. It wasn't Pegasus. No, no, no. I, you have no, spoken. No, 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 you have spoken. Please. It let is Sanju Varma now. Sanju Varma. Sanju Varma. Now you have spoken. Sanju Varma. Spoken because you are not taking the technical answer. You know, Maria, this is not fair. The technical I answer is the identity of a weapon grade spyware can be Yes, Sanju Varma, go ahead. No, I refuse to be a government of India. And government of India is not cooperating. Okay, go ahead, Sanju Varma. Are you done? Fine. Maria, let me be very clear. The Supreme Court has clearly said that there was no Pegasus Piper in 29 mobile phones said, examined. No, sorry. LAP. You know, Maria, I refuse to debate. You can have them debate. Sanju, please come back. You don't have to leave no, the this debate. Is not, you know, if you are moderating a debate, you are expected to give equal yes. time to the debate. Sanju, Sanju, go ahead. Go ahead. Please go ahead. Let's I have Sanju Varma speak debate. on you the panel continue. now. Yes, please. Go Mr. ahead. Go ahead. Ah. Can continue. Ah, okay. Okay. Bolie, bolie. Ah, Sanju Varma. No, I refuse to debate. Okay, Sanju, speak debate. please. Achha, go ahead. Ah. No, I refuse to debate. I need proper screen time alone. I okay, you are speaking now, business Sanju. Business. Go ahead. Yes, it's only you on the screen now. Please go ahead. Thank you. Ah. You know, let's be fair. First and foremost, the Supreme Court categorically said no Pegasus Spider found.
found on 29 mobile phones. Point number two, five mobile phones had a malware, but it was not registered. Point number three, NSO, the Israeli company which owns Pegasus, has clearly denied any links or any transactions with the Modi government. Point number four, and the most important point, Maria, is this. The Congress today is electorally vanquished. And we all know that be it Pranap Mukherjee, be it Chandra Bhattacharya, be it Mamata Banerjee, be it Jayalalita, Congress during the UPA regime snooped on just about everybody. And I clearly remember when Pranap Mukherjee wrote to Manmohan Singh saying, please stop bugging my office. Please stop spying on my office. Manmohan Singh did not deny the charge. He only said government is not fine, but a private agency is fine. And the man called Bhupinder Singh was also arrested. So let me tell you, Congress has no, no political morality or political high moral ground to okay. sit here and give a lecture to the BJP. And I will just say this. The Supreme Court today has fair and square called out the bluff of Rahul Gandhi. Each minute wasted in Parliament cost 2.5 lakh rupees. Hundreds of crores were wasted last year in the winter session and this year in the budget session. Will Rahul Gandhi come clean and compensate for the loss? Because he was the one who was making the maximum Okay, good deal, Sapal. The BJP is Why demanding an apology from court? Rahul Gandhi. Yes, yes. They, 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 are, they are welcome to demand it. Hmm. But in this litany of lies, let me clarify to your viewers, Supreme Court said it could not conclusively prove that it was Pegasus or it was not Pegasus. Because it was a malware, which is a weapon grade malware, whose servers are under Pegasus control, who could be accessed only through government of India, and government of India did not cooperate. So Supreme Court could not conclusively prove that it was Pegasus or not. Hmm. BJP is trying to portray that Supreme Court said there was no Pegasus. That is a wrong thing. B, it is not about Congress or BJP. It is about the fundamental rights of citizens of this country, and it is about using a weapon-grade spy software against the citizens of this country, and which so also includes in okay, judges. I have just enough time also, for Jitin no, Jain now. Jitin also Jain, includes judges. Jain, it also Jain, includes ministers. If, 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 if I were to move away from commission. politics again so it and look at it point. from the point of view of what the Supreme Court has said and how various statements surfaced uh, in the last one year, including what NSO said that they have not, uh, you know, uh, they have not used any kind of uh, surveillance that they have not dealt with government of India, where are we headed on the space of privacy? Maria, let's leave politics apart. And I think the bigger question this nation must ask today is one, this whole investigation and this was facade of politics was based on some media reports of a foreign publication. Now that very foreign publication refused to publish any reports about FBI, the US government itself buying this Pegasus malware. We are not debating that the same very U.S. companies were wanting to inquire, you know, acquire Pegasus company last two months. They were re refused approvals at the last moment. So I think it appears to be a hit and run job against certain democracies which are developing the surveillance capabilities for the security of their own state. That is the point we must investigate. Number two, hmm. I think the bigger question is asked, these old politicians in this lecture have done the biggest disservice to this nation that no government tomorrow will now want to buy a malware for the national security to bug the phones of terrorists, you know, uh, a drug peddler, because they will think there will be a political thunder. How do you deal with a situation when one of the biggest technical armies in the world of China is at your border trying to invade? You have the biggest state-sponsored terrorism factory running in Pakistan every day trying to use encrypted mobile phones to, you know, for terror communication. Okay. Okay. Unless or until you have best-in-class surveillance capabilities, this nation cannot fulfill the needs of this security. All now, right. you have created a situation by creating a halla. Did you buy Pegasus? Did you buy Pegasus? Did you buy Pegasus? Even if you bought, so what? Every government worth its salt for the security of state must buy the best possible technology available. All the right. question should have been, was there any illegal surveillance? And now there is no, no debate about any illegal surveillance taking place. So I think the biggest disservice is the facade you have created and, and, and a roadblock for the future generations to buy world-class technology. All right, that Jitin, thank you so much. Good deep, Sappal and Sanju Varma. We are slipping into a short break. After that, I'll get you latest in the investigation of the death of uh, Haryana BJP leader Sonali Fogart.